Hello, let's talk about Koha's searching capabilities. From the first page, your user can come directly in and begin the search process. You'll see here they do have a drop down menu which allows them to search by keyword, title, author, subject, or a various uh, other list of options. They can also switch to discovery. So if your library subscribes to EDS, EBSCO's uh, discovery, service, uh, they can come in and integrate with that and search both platforms. So here, I'm going to come in and begin my search. I can come in and just do a quick search for, let's say, Gone Girl. Um, this allows me to also come over if I'm a multi-branch system. I could select the location and then come over and hit go. Once I hit search, this will bring back a list of results in the system. Over on the left-hand side, I will have some facets. Those facets allow me to drill down where I can say, you know, I'm just looking for a particular um, item uh, type perhaps maybe a book or maybe I'm looking for just a specific collection or a series or I want to find something that's just at my local branch. Um, in this middle here you're going to see the brief results. The brief results allow you to essentially see what um, title you're looking for. Just a little information. You can see that material type, the availability of the item. Um, as I scroll through I can see the cover images. Um, I can also place a hold for something. Um, we do have that integration so I can see if an item is available in my library's overdrive collection. So if I click on this, it will show me the titles that are available so I can see that those items are available in overdrive. Now, if I click on this result, this will take me into a detailed view of the record. The detailed view of the record will give me a little more information well, where I can see um, descriptions, summaries, subject headings. Um, I can see holding information, so this will give me a quick breakdown of the items that are available, their location. Um, I can browse the shelf, so this will actually show me if I was standing in the library itself, I can actually see those items and, and what was next to it. Um, so this is a really nice way to view that information. There is integration with Novelist Select, um, so if your library subscribes, you can see that information here and even options for book reviews where you can see information about um, New York Times or the LA Times. Over here on the right hand side, you're going to see a little more information where the user can place a hold on the item. This will prompt them to log in. Um, so once they log in with their user um, name and password or PIN, this will allow them to uh, place a hold on an item. So they can confirm that hold and then it will take them in and show them any other options um, that they have for those holds in the system. If I click on that title, that'll take me back into my search result where I can see that information. Um, a few other options they have here is um, saving the record or even um, adding it and looking at it for another search. This is a really great option if you are part of a consortia or um, participate in reciprocal borrowing um, and your user wants to look for that title in another collection.